Hey guys, I'm Joe Burnich with Big West Marketing and we empower small businesses to succeed online. And we do that by simplifying all of this digital marketing stuff. So if you're watching this video, it's because you wanna know how to do SEO for pressure washing. So if you have a pressure washing business, this one is for you. It's how to get to the top of Google. It's part of a five part series and we're gonna teach you all about marketing and how to make your business succeed online. Let's get started right now. Okay, so in this video, you're gonna discover the fastest way to consistently and reliably get to the top of Google for pressure washing, okay? It means more calls, more jobs, it means a better life for you, for your family, and it means beating out that cut rate competition, you know who I'm talking about, in your town and, and just putting them down where they belong, you know, once and for all. That's what this, this SEO stuff is all about. Now, the stuff I'm gonna teach you is not high tech. It's stuff that anybody can understand. And the reason I teach it this way is that you can start implementing it, implementing it uh, right away. Now, uh, I wanna point your attention to the link down below this video. It's for a free 30 minute consultation. If you're watching this video and you get stuck or if you have questions about how all of this stuff works, I want you to book a call with us. The first 30 minutes is free. That's a $97 value, but the first, for, first 30 minutes is free. So take advantage of this stuff if you get stuck or if you just wanna talk about this stuff, how it works, okay? And if you do this wrong, you're gonna lose thousands of dollars and probably a year or two of work. So I don't want that to happen to you. So let's 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 pay attention. All right. Now, before we jump into the nitty gritty of this SEO stuff, of this search engine optimization, I have an incredibly powerful story to tell you. All right. This is real quick. So back in 2009, I moved from Kansas City back to my hometown of Missoula, Montana, which are where I live right now. At that time, I had a new wife, new baby, started a new business. Okay. And I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. All right. And the business was not doing well. It was hard to make ends meet. It was tough times. All right, so the big question that kept coming up in my head at that time was, will I fail? Will my business fail? Because if my business fails, I fail as a dad, I fail as a husband, I fail as a man. That's how important it was to make this business work. I don't know if you can relate to that or not. Luckily, I came across an old family friend, Rick Kern. Okay, Rick was in the process of, of teaching himself how to rank all these websites up at the top of Google. And he said, hey, man, we need to rank your website at the top of Google and, and see what happens, see if we can get some calls coming in for you, all right? And we did that. And it was huge, okay? SEO was my solution. Search engine optimization or getting to the top of Google for my business was my solution. Now, why am I telling you this? Okay, the reason I'm telling you is I want you to understand I'm not really different from any other business owner out there. I just came across something that worked and I spent hours and hours every day testing, learning, and figuring this stuff out, okay? I'm an explorer finding gold nuggets and now I wanna share these gold nuggets with you. That's the whole point of why I'm doing this, all right? And we're going to be talking about foundations. I think about SEO or online marketing, it's kind of like a house, okay? You need to have a strong foundation before you start, you know, um, painting the, the exterior, putting a new roof on, um, before you, you know, remodel the kitchen, okay? All that stuff is great. But if you have a cracked foundation, or if that, cra that foundation is, is failing, okay, it, it, then you're, it doesn't matter how pretty the house looks on top, okay? You're, you're never gonna get to where you need to be and your house is gonna be worthless. Your SEO will be worthless. I don't want you to, I don't want you to waste a ton of money and time, so let's cut, let's cut to the chase. Now, like I said, I wanna keep it simple because I went and saw Tony Robbins not too long ago. He, made a, he said something that really stuck with me, which is complexity is the enemy of, of execution. If something's too complicated, you will not take action. That's just a human, that's just how us human brains, how our human brains work. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down into the five simple things so that you can run with this stuff and start taking action today. Mobile first websites is the first thing. Maps versus organic, the second. Keywords, okay, or search terms. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, number four, citations or online directories. Number five, we're going to talk about the turbo boosters or the backlinks to get your website to the top. Now, you need to do these in order. These are set up in order of importance, in order, and they're, they're all foundational. Okay, so don't skip any of these. All right, 
And and some of this might sound like tech speak or marketing jargon right now. That's okay. I'm going to ex fully explain it and make sure you understand this before the video's over. Okay. Simple thing number 1, we're talking about mobile first websites. I don't know if you knew this, but these little guys are kind of popular these days, these these smartphones here. Um, but a lot of people just assume that their website is mobile ready. Google knows how popular cell phones are. They know you look they're looking for stuff people are looking for you on a phone. So if you don't get your get your website to pass this Google Mobile test, then the rest of the stuff doesn't matter. That's what that's why I'm talking foundation. So go to so just go to Google.com and search for Google Mobile Test. Run your website through this little tool. It takes about 30 seconds, and you're either going to get a green circle or a red X. If you got a red X, go talk to your web designer right away, or fire him and get a new one. Or if you're doing your own website, check with your whoever you know, whatever platform you're using to do your website, whatever program you're using to do your website. Make sure it's mobile first before you do anything else, because Google will not rank you if you're not mobile ready. All right, simple thing number two: maps versus organic. So when somebody searches for you know pressure washers in your city it's going to throw up a map that's where you want to be you want to be in this top three in the map section so that's what we're talking about today we're not talking about organic because that only gets like 10 percent of the clicks okay we want to be up here where the money is that's what we're talking about in this video now now i know there are ads there's pay-per-click stuff at the top here and that's for a different video that's uh that's a different video called how to do adwords for um, pressure washing companies okay so check that out after you watch this one all right, simple thing number three, we're talking about keywords. Now, don't complicate this. All a keyword is is something simple that somebody types into Google to find you. So, for example, um, pressure washers, Missoula, Montana, or power washing, Kansas City, or um, driveway pressure washing in Dallas, Texas. Those are all examples of keywords or search terms. Don't overcomplicate it. That's all it is. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to find the best ones for your company, how to find them, and then we're going to talk about where to put them on your website. Okay, so all you do to find them is go to google.com and start typing some words into the search box there, and you're going to see this little drop down box come down, and it's going to start giving you suggestions. Google suggests stuff to you. I'm sure you've noticed this, but you didn't know how important it was. What this stuff is based on is real human beings searching for terms and that's what you want you want stuff that real people are searching for not something that some marketing guy told you or some online report or something like that you want something that real, real humans are searching for and that's where the money is i'm telling you right now once you get that list once you make your list of keywords using doing that process go to your google adwords account if you don't have one it's free just open it up and there's a tool inside there called the keyword planner start putting your keywords into this little keyword ideas box okay and google's going to give you two pieces of information that are very very valuable they're going to tell you the average monthly searches for each keyword the average number of people typing that in and then whether the competition is high medium or low you're going to take that information and decide which keywords you really want to go for because they're worth the most money they're going to make you the most money all right you can also get really crazy and use this tool scmrush.com it's a little bit more technical but for those techie people out there that want to do it that's fine there's a free and paid version you get all kinds of crazy information and find all kinds of unknown keywords that you won't find anywhere else okay now, now that we have our list of keywords in order of importance that we know we're going to make money off of if people type that in and search for it, where do we put those? There's two places on your website you want to put those, the title tag and the content. Title tag, let's look and see what that is. So on any web page on the internet, when you hover your little mouse arrow, cursor, whatever you want to call it, over one of the tabs at the top, a little box will pop up. Inside that box, inside that box is the title tag. That's the number one thing Google looks at when they scan your website. When they're coming through and they're looking at websites, they look at that to see what you're supposed to rank for. And if you don't have your keyword in there, it's going to be very hard to rank for this. And I see people do it wrong all the time. I saw one yesterday that just said home or it said like just the business name. You want to have your keyword plus the business name plus a phone number up in the title tag. Now, how do you put this stuff into the title tag? Every website platform is different. If you have a web designer, have them do it for you. Send the keywords over and say, put this into my title tag. Or if you do your own website, you need to figure out how to do it on Wix or Squarespace or GoDaddy Builder or whatever you're using. You need to figure it out. There's always a place. Contact their support if you don't if if you don't if it's not obvious. Next place to put these keywords is mix it into the words on the website or the content, the text on the website. As you write this out, start mixing these keywords in there, and they can be variations. It doesn't have to be exact. Keep it very natural so it sounds nice when a human reads it. Do not stuff it or make lists or do anything spammy. 
if you don't, if you're not, if you're not writing your own content for your website, hire and I hired somebody to do it. Have them do it. They a good writer for for internet stuff will know all about keywords and how important they are. All right. Here's another important tip that most people get wrong, including these so-called marketing or SEO experts that charge through the nose. They get this wrong all the time. Okay. And the thing is, you want to have for every service that you offer, okay, or every keyword that you want to rank for. Okay, you need to have a separate page on your website for each keyword or each service. Okay, so if you're doing pressure washing and you're doing um, deck cleaning, maybe roof cleaning, separate page for each one. Don't put it all in a list on one page. Okay, Google doesn't like that. People don't like that. And the cool thing is, if you have ten keywords you want to rank for, ten different pages, and each page has its own unique title tag. That's what's cool. And if you do this, you know, most of your competition is not doing this, so you're going to be way ahead of the game if you do that. All right. So simple thing number four, we're going to talk about citations or online directories. Okay. All a citation is is one of these online directories. The top three is Google My Business, Facebook Business, and Yelp Business. Get into all three of those right away. All right. And there's 50 plus more that I'm going to show you how to get. But, but real quick, before we do that, I want to show you the information inside these citations is so important. And Google My Business, since it's the most important, that's what we're going to start with. Okay, We want to have a business, your correct business name. If you don't, I see people putting the wrong business name in there all the time. Even if it's one word off, that's bad. That looks bad. Google doesn't like that. You want to get your business license that you have registered with the city and look and see exactly how it is. Pop that in there. Okay, Then you want to make sure you have the correct category. Okay, people put the wrong category, a little secondary services in your main category, and Google doesn't know what to rank you for, and then it doesn't match with the keywords on your title tags in your website. Bad move. Make sure you have the right category. Next, an address. Now, I know a lot of guys work from their house, and they hide the address from the public. That's okay. You still need to have the correct address in Google and the other site, uh, citations. Next, phone number. If you've changed your phone number over the years, you need to get your correct one in there. If you have multiple phone numbers, get your main phone number in there or pick one that's going to be your main one. Same thing with your website. I know people have multiple websites for whatever reasons. Get Pick one main website and, make that your, and, and put that in there. Make that your main one. And don't vary it across the internet. All right. Now, I said there's 50 more that you need to get into the Google Looks at. Write this down because you're going to search for this on Google when you stop when you finish this video. Write down top local directories for SEO. That is what you want to type into Google to search and find these top 50 directories. These all these websites here will give these to you. Just lay them out for you. Even have links to them so you can start registering for them, get submitted. Now, it's more than just getting your stuff submitted out there. And this is the biggest problem I see with rankings is people have incorrect or old information out there, or they hired someone that put a bunch of junk, duplicate, fake information out there on the internet in all these different online directories. Bad move. The number one thing we do for people when, when they hire us to do SEO is we start cleaning that stuff up and it takes up to 90 days. It's tedious work. It's not super technical. Anybody can do it, but it is tedious work. Okay. And it's not fun, but once you get it done, it's done. Okay. And it's, it's that foundational thing I'm talking about. Okay. Super important. If you don't do that, you're, you're going to be in trouble. All right. Simple thing number five is backlinks. Now, a lot of people know about this, that, that search around for SEO stuff. They start hearing about backlinks. Problem is they start doing backlinks before they do all the foundational stuff and then it doesn't work and they wonder why. Okay. Backlinks will work only if you have the, the stuff I already talked about taken care of. Okay. So what is a backlink and, and, and Good backlinks are, are created by real connections with real people. Let's talk about that for a sec. So here's an example of a backlink I got from my business back in 2009. I went down to the local Missoulian newspaper and I said, will you do an article on my business? They said, yes. They did the article. They put it on their website and then they put a link. And all that means is like this, this blue lettering in within the, the article. When somebody clicks on that, it links back to my website. That's all a link is. Okay, but it's way more powerful than you think. When I was at the bottom of page one and I got this, two weeks later I popped up to the top of page one. That's how powerful these types of links are. Okay, other link building strategies that I used for my business was you know sponsor a local charity and get, and have them place a link back. You know this person donated this much money, so um, they put your your business information on their website with a link back to yours. Super powerful. Exchange something of value. Do some work for somebody for free, and, and instead of asking for money, say, I'll just do it and get, if you put a link from your website back to mine. That's easy, easy stuff, and that will be worth 
10 times more than the money you would have gotten paid, okay? Uh, testimonials for vendors. So if you have, you know, equipment or chemical uh, companies that you really like, okay, write out a really nice testimonial for them, send it over and say, hey, uh, you can put this on your website, but please link back to mine, all right? I had three different vendors take me up on that offer. It's a win-win for everybody when you do that stuff. Uh, another one is networking with local businesses. You have friends that own businesses in your town, or if you're part of a BNI group or or whatever, trade links. Trade link back and forth from each other's websites, okay? It's very easy, very simple. Have your web designers do it if you have to. Um, you're helping each other out. You're helping each other promote your business, and Google sees that. It's very powerful. Google loves it, okay? Another thing you can do is you can write a useful... Um, article for a local blog or local influencer in, in your town, okay? And, and they can put it up on their website. These people are always wanting more articles and more content without having to write it themselves. Now, if you're not a writer like me, I'm not a writer, um, I, I hire people to do writing for me, okay? And then I have and then I submit it out. Or some of these people, you find them on Craigslist. There's hungry college kids, students out there that are amazing writers that want to build up their name. They'll do this for you for pennies, or dollars. Cheap, anyway. Okay? So, that's the top five things, guys. Um, we're talking about mobile-first websites. We're talking about maps. Okay? We want to rank in that map section. That's where the money is. You want to get the right keywords, the money keywords, and you want to place it on your website in the title tags and content. Get those citations submitted and clean. Clean is more important than just submitted. Uh, and then you want to have um, some good, powerful backlinks. So you're going to get around town and do all the stuff we just talked about. All right. I have other videos for you guys as well. I've got ones on how to do these mobile websites that can double, triple your conversions. you know. And then I got another one on how to get reviews for, um, for these companies. So I got all the links down below the video or on the page or wherever you're watching it. Check those out. Uh, all for pressure washing companies. Now, if you're a client of Big West Marketing, all of this is taken care of for you. We like to make this as simple as possible for our clients so you can focus on what you do best. Now, if you are not a client of Big West Marketing, right now we are offering a free consultation up to 30 minutes. That's normally a $97 value, so take advantage of this right now. Just call or click on the link to schedule a day and time that works best for you. So, if you're tired of being confused and overwhelmed, then contact us today. Someone from our office will show you step-by-step -step what you need to do to be successful online. If you are ready for a real solution, contact us today.